Hello friends, gas molecules behave in some interesting ways, especially with each other. However, we cannot see them so they are difficult to study and visualize. That is why we have theories and 3D models that explain their behavior. In this video, you will learn about the kinetic theory of gases. Our objective is to study different postulates of kinetic theory of gases. We have defined an ideal gas with the help of the relationship between its macroscopic quantities. In fact, our computations in the kinetic theory would be pertaining to the microscopic quantities and the microscopic phenomena associated with the constituent particles. The postulates laid down for the ideal gas provide the definition of an ideal gas based on its microscopic description. Theoretical framework prepared by such postulates is known as the molecular model of an ideal gas. Postulates Number 1. Gas is made up of small particles. These particles are known as molecules of the gas. Gas constituents can be monatomic, example, Ne, He, etc. They can be diatomic, example, N2, H2, O2, etc. Or triatomic, example, CO2. Or they can be polyatomic, example, NH3. Number 2. The molecules of a gas are in random motion and obey Newton's laws of motion. Number 3. The total number of molecules in a gas is quite large. The velocity of any molecule while in motion would change abruptly when it collides with another molecule or with the wall of the container. Therefore, the path of a molecule becomes zigzag. Now, if we assume a very large number of molecules, then there will be a correspondingly large number of collisions and the randomness in the motion will be retained. Number 4. The volume of a gas molecule is extremely small as compared to the volume occupied by the gas or volume of the container. The average intermolecular distance is considerably large as compared to the diameter of the molecule. The volume of the gas can be changed to a great extent easily. Moreover, when gas is liquefied, its volume becomes thousands of times smaller than its original volume. Number 5. Only at the time of collision of two molecules, appreciable intermolecular forces act between them. The velocity of a molecule remains the same between two consecutive collisions. Number 6. The collisions of a molecule with another molecule or with the walls of the container are elastic. The time interval during the collision is negligibly small as compared to the average time elapsed between two consecutive collisions. Collision in which the laws of conservation of momentum and kinetic energy holds true is known as an elastic collision. At the time of the collision, kinetic energy is momentarily converted into potential energy. But at the very next moment, when the collision process is over, the potential energy is converted back into kinetic energy. Thus, we may ignore this conversion of kinetic energy into potential energy. So, the total mechanical energy of a gas can also be considered to be in the form of its kinetic energy. To summarize, gas is made up of small particles. These particles are known as molecules of the gas. The molecules of a gas are in random motion. 
the average intermolecular distance is considerably large as compared to the diameter of the molecule. Appreciable intermolecular forces act between them only at the time of collision of the two molecules. A collision in which the laws of conservation of momentum and kinetic energy holds true is known as an elastic collision. So now we know a great deal about ideal gases. But what about those rebel gases that do not follow the rules? Would they behave differently? Stay tuned to find out in our upcoming videos. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.